It's just so funny to hear you say, here you are growing up in a family that's obviously very well known. Your father's an NFL quarterback. You know, your brothers coming behind you are highly recruited, as are you. And here you are saying when you're a kid, you just wanted to find that balance of being competitive but keeping it fun. And I, I think, you know, I'm really lucky to have parents that, you know, is a template I can follow. I remember, you know, little life lessons along the way that not to, and you and you also, Greg, I'm sure you saw plenty of bad, bad parents, you know, that were, you know, the guy at the ballpark who gets, you know, asked to leave because he's yelling at his son who, you know, drops a fly ball and you're going, oh, this is not good. And, and I think probably in the back of his head, he thinks his son's, you know, headed to the major leagues and this is this is screwing up the, the master plan. It was nothing <laughs> like that for us. It was like, I mean, I can remember a night, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a receiver, a sophomore, trying to kind of a third receiver and two quarterbacks get hurt and I got to go in and play quarterback. And we play this team, it's better than us. And, and I was... I was awful. I think I threw five interceptions. I think I might have thrown six, but I only, they only gave me credit for five because <laughs> they lost count. And I'm, you know, it's sophomore. And I got, you, know, you, you come home on the bus. It's pretty quiet. And I go up to see my parents when I'm, and dad, my dad said, well, you know, I threw six against Tennessee one time. You didn't, you didn't beat my record. So I was like, <laughs> you know, and so you, it's just a, a nice way of kind of in, and I never looked back. I never, it never bothered me the next week. It, it just like, you know, you know, water off a duck's back. You keep going. And, and it was, I still enjoyed it. I had fun. I had great memories. I get more stories out of the bad games than I do out of the good ones. But um, yeah, it was, it was all meant to just be fun. And then as you got older again, maybe junior, senior year, you kind of started to maybe get some letters in the mail and questionnaires about how And that was the best, you, wasn't which, it? Oh, I mean, man, I love you know, and you lied. Everything on that. You were that, six four two twenty five. <laughs> I was like the forty time. I'm like, hmm, what should I say it's here? So you, know, true. you can say whatever you want. You know, parents, parents, and kids story. listening to this now have no idea that not very long ago, you know, we're talking twenty years, twenty five. You would get these these letters in the mail that were like traditional questionnaires, and with a pen, you would fill out home city, home state, mom's name, dad's name. I don't think email was, I don't think like email, I think home telephone number, height, weight, 40 yard time, shuttle. Like you would just hand write it in there. You'd fold it up, put it in an envelope and send it back. And that's what they put you down in, in the database. <laughs> it was amazing. Right. Yeah. There was you no a, camps. You, a, you weren't running a 40 yard dash at the Nike camp. No. And if you went to a camp, you probably went somewhere local. I would go to Tulane camps just because it was down the road and of course. not super attended. And you try to. And, you know, and I remember another thing Peyton used to always talk about. We had this hilarious football coach, Tony Reginelli. He was a he was a wonderful man. He kind of got everything kind of confused sometimes. But I remember Peyton was filling out his questionnaire, and it said um, it wanted to know your head coach's alma mater. So he said, "Coach, you know, I, you know, I don't even know what what's what's your alma mater." And he said, always do your best. <laughs> so we're like, great. So, you know, it was That's far so- from an exact science. They didn't know anything about you. You were just a, it was a, you know, That's an imaginary so person put on, put on paper. Oh man. That, that, <laughs> that's so good. You know, and so, so take us back to, to those times, right? So you, you play with Peyton, he's your quarterback. You're the star wide receiver. I've always said when people have asked me, you know, in your football career, you know, the Super Bowls, albeit. I, Peyton still owes me a dinner for that, for beating us. We'll talk about it later. Um, you know, like, was it playing a Super Bowl, college? You know, I still think back to my days, Friday nights, playing for my local high school team. My dad's the coach. My brother's my quarterback. He's a jun- He's a senior. I'm a junior. And making that run, we ended up losing in the state championship. But, like, those are the memories around football that I remember. So, like, I'm curious. So, take us back. So, you and your brother... You're playing on the same team. He's the quarterback. You're the star wide receiver. I'll be, you're, you're older. Like what, what are the memories that come flashing back to you? when you look back on those days playing when football was at its best, which was just playing with your buddies, playing for your high school and competing with your brother. Yeah. I remember all the, the bus rides and the practice. I remember also running a lot of routes that summer before Peyton was going to, Peyton's going to be a sophomore. I'm going to be a senior. And it's kind of the first time, all those years in the front yard are, are going to be able to pay off. We had our own little signals. And Greg, it was also a time 
a little bit before everybody was throwing it. We decided to throw it around that year. You, know, you played you played better athletes and better teams, but they threw it six times and we were throwing it 26 times. Right. So, you know, you caught a lot of balls and we had, you know, we're running trips left, we're doing formations. And now I wouldn't say we're we're ahead of our time. It's not super complicated, but just you could confuse people who are better than you. And so it was fun for everybody. Even the guy who was the third receiver was his parents were having the greatest time of their lives. And I think my parents looked back and said, golly, you know, they've been blessed with Super Bowls and playoff runs and Pro Bowls. And they look back and saying those years in high school when their two boys were playing together were as, as memorable and as fun because it's fun. You know, you screw up. You, I remember a couple of years ago, we're playing a tough game and we tie it up with two minutes left. This is Arch's freshman year playing a really good team. And there's a bad snap on the on the extra point and we lose by one. Well, there's no there's no one talks about it ever again. He's a great kid. The good kid's going on to the Naval Academy and going to be a, you know, a, a decorated star for the, for, the, for his country. And there's no scandal. There's no hoopla. There's no blame. It's just like you move on. You lost <laughs> who we got next week. Yeah. So there's something so genuine about that that makes high school sports, I think, fun and innocent and good. And hopefully it can stay that way because some people are are trying to use it as a platform to get to the next level, which is fine, but this, let's not let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. 